Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Gospel Faith Television. My name is Pastor Ojimba Alex, and today I want to talk about a topic which a lot of people have been talking about in England, around the world, and in Africa. And the topic is Donald Trump's derogatory. What's the word? Derogatory. I can't even say that with derogatory remarks. Derogatory remarks. And um, yeah, the president of the USA has been saying things about Africa in a negative way. And uh, my friends have been talking about it, and I thought it would, it would only be normal for me to make a comment on Gospel Faith television. First and foremost, I would like to show the picture. Trump. I just want to say Donald Trump is a great man and I want to say Donald Trump is a positive man and I want to say Donald Trump is also a great world leader. I've got nothing but respect for Donald Trump. Actually, Donald Trump himself has inspired me to, to say to myself, I'm going to do something positive in my life and I'm sure Donald Trump has inspired a lot of people around the world. Derogatory means what it means. Derogatory means to lower something. It means to belittle something. It means to, to diminish something. It means to uncompliment something. So when you say something that is not really too pleasant about something, you're degrading that thing. So when I say today's topic is Donald Trump's Africa's derogatory remarks, I'm trying to say that Donald Trump says positive things, but in this particular occasion, he said something that is derogatory about Africa. And I just have to put this on gospel faith television. I would like to say that when something like that happens, because I don't really want to mention, I don't really, really want to say what Donald Trump said about Africa, but we all know what he said. But I want to say that when the president of USA says something degrading, about Africa like that, of course it's going to hit social media, of course people are going to talk about this, but in my opinion, the most important people that should stand up to Donald Trump are the African leaders themselves, you see, the African leaders, the African presidents, the African leaders, they have to come forward and say, hey, Donald Trump, you're the president of USA, but we are the president of African countries, and please don't speak about our countries in a negative form in that way, because not only are you affecting me as the leader, you're affecting the population of the country also. And I'm here to say that the, the negative remarks that Donald Trump made about Africa is also an insult to the slave descendants that live in Africa also. Because if you're going to talk about Africa and saying that they live in blah, 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 or their country is like this, you got to remember that the slave descendants were taken away from Africa also during the slavery time. So if you're, if you're going to disrespect black people in Africa like that, not only are you disrespecting them, black people are connected all over the world. So it will have an effect on the African-American. It will have an effect on the Africans that live in Britain. It will have an effect on all the Africans that live in Europe and all over the world. So, I would say that at the same time, when Donald Trump made that negative comment about Africa, I would say to myself that I can see where he's coming from because at the same time, most Africans go to America or Europe as immigrants but I would like to redefine the term immigrant because 
no black man should ever see himself as an immigrant. Black people are the rulers of the world, but they put this stigmatization, they put this stereotype on black people, and black people themselves have began, have began to believe that they are immigrants themselves. So you see a black man in America, you ask him, what are you doing here? He said, well, I'm an immigrant from Africa. Who told you you're an immigrant? You ain't no immigrant. You're no immigrant. Immigrant is something that's been placed upon you. You are no immigrant. You are the ruler of the world. Black people used to rule the world. You're no immigrant. You understand? If you go, if you look at it from a, a document's perspective, well, you can be an immigrant, but if you look at it from a God perspective, you're no immigrant. Have some more self-respect for yourself. Stop calling yourself an immigrant. So what I'm trying to say, black people, when they live in America and they live in Europe and they come across as immigrants, of course the president's going to say things like that. I think those kind of comments are disrespectful to black people all over the world. I mean, I never see Americans going over to Africa as immigrants. I never seen an American with an American passport or an Englishman with an English passport going over to Africa, to Nigeria. And you ask him in an interview, who are you? And he would say, I've got an American passport or I'm from England, but I'm going to Nigeria or Ghana as an immigrant. So if they're not immigrants, why do we have to be immigrants ourselves? This is something that we should not accept. Regulatory comments or negative comments about Africa. In other words, what he's saying is that Africans should begin to rebuild their countries. That's what he's saying. But we don't have an African continent and see the way the houses are, we see the environment, we see the structure. And he made that comment. So, in other words, with hindsight, what he is saying is Africans begin to restructure your country, begin to rebuild your country. African leaders begin to rebuild your country. Make it beautiful. We Africans are rich people. African leaders, when you get the money, you boost your economy, you begin to build bridges in your country. You begin to build roads in your country. That's what you have to do. You put electricity all over Africa. When you do these kind of things, Donald Trump won't make those kind of comments. Or nobody would have the authority to make those kind of comments. And I still think that Donald Trump's comments has been misinterpreted. Yeah. It's been, it's come out the wrong way. He said something, but the media, they blow things out of proportion and um, it come out in, in, a, in a negative way. But I'm sure Donald Trump himself, as an honorable man that he is, he didn't mean it in that way. He didn't mean it. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't mean it to have a negative effect on nobody. What Donald Trump himself is trying to do through those comments is he is trying to help rebuild Africa itself because Africa is way behind compared to Europe and, and America, but it's time to catch up. So Donald Trump is saying in his own way, please rebuild your, your country. And in other words, from my understanding, Donald Trump is also saying, that there should be less corruption in Africa. Yeah, if there's less corruption in Africa and you focus on rebuilding your continent, then no one can speak about it. I mean, we all want to say negative things about America. We all want to say negative things about England. We all want to say negative things about Russia. But you can't because the structure has already been put in place. The whole country has been transformed. They're modern. So we shouldn't give these people the chance or the opportunity to say these kind of things about our continent. I just want to say that Donald Trump is a very clever man. And Donald Trump, when he speaks, I've got enough respect. For me, Donald Trump is even the best president America has ever had so far. He's been in office for like a year, but I've got a lot of respect for Donald Trump. And I want to say that Donald Trump is more clever than people will ever know. He's a very clever man. He deserves to be America's president. That's what I want to say. I 
think Donald Trump is the right man to be the president of America. And I think Donald Trump also has got a lot of intelligence and he's got a great personality. You've been watching Gospel Faith television. I want to say Donald Trump is a great president. My cameraman's even laughing. <laughs> My cameraman, you got anything to say? He's a great man. respect his um, position on Israel, establishing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's brave and bold. Okay, don't worry about that. Don't, let's not go into that. Let's not go into that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, anyway, I just want to say Donald Trump is a, is a great man and he's a man of integrity. Gospel Faith Television respects you and um, Gospel Faith Television will keep on bringing, what's it called again? It will keep on bringing news and information to the rest of the world. My name is Pastor Ojimba Alex. Those comments were derogatory. They were, but at the same time, they were blown out of context. God bless you. Thank you for watching Gospel Faith Television. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah.